What's up guys? When trying to pause your game, most tutorials online will simply tell you to just freeze time in your game. But this is rarely enough to properly pause your game. When time is frozen, your player still receives input. So even though they can't move, they can still turn around. Plus, by doing it this way, you run into issues like for me here. My jump button on my gamepad is the same as the button select. And so when I hit the resume button, my character jumps as well, which I don't want. And we don't want to get into a mess of if statements and checks and whatnot. We're going to create a proper system to pause our game here. And it's really easy. Let's go. And before we start, it's worth noting that depending on the size of your game, you might be fine to simply deactivate certain scripts that receive input. For me here, I could simply freeze time and disable my player script and the player attack script, which controls my movement and attack. But if you do it this way, then you'll have an ever-growing list of scripts that receive input that need to be deactivated every single time. So I'm going to show you a better way, one that scales well and will work no matter how large your project gets. So first, let me show you how my input is set up. I am using the new input system, and here is my input action asset. I just have the one action map right now, with just a few actions inside to control my player movement, as well as this menu open action here, which controls when my menu opens, which is also when we'll pause the game. My input is coming from this input manager script, and you're going to want a player input script as well to make it easier to switch action maps later on. The only button we care about is the pause button, or in my case the menu open button, so I created a public bool here for that. And we'll need to grab a reference to the player input. I set up a private input action, which we find from within the player input with a string. And then in update, we call the dot was pressed this frame method from that input action. So currently our pause works by just freezing time. But as I mentioned, the player can still turn around even though the game is paused. And if I select the resume button, he's going to jump. It's just a, a mess right now. I have a menu manager here, which does a bunch of menu stuff that really doesn't matter for the sake of this tutorial. What we care about is right here. If we press our menu open button and the game isn't paused, then we'll pause it. Otherwise, we will unpause it. Those functions call pause and unpause from our pause manager, and then we handle the menu stuff. And right now, all the pause manager is doing is just freezing time and unfreezing time. So how do we make this better? Well, what we want to do is completely disable the entire player action map, and instead we'll use a UI action map to navigate through the menus. So first, let's set up that new UI action map. Inside our event system, which you will have in your project if you have any UI setup whatsoever, we have a default input actions for our action assets here. If we double click that to open it, we can literally just copy the entire UI action map here and paste it into our player controls that we've set up. It'll take all the actions along with it, so it's nice and easy. So now, just make sure you replace the default input actions in our event system with our player controls, which I probably should have just called controls, but whatever. So to ensure we're always working with the same instance of our player input, in our input manager script, let's create a public static reference to our player input instead of the private one that we had before. Now that we've done that, let's go into our pause manager here. And in our pause game function, we're going to switch our current action map to the UI map we created just a second ago. This will deactivate the player action map and activate the UI action map. And in the unpause function, we'll switch it back to the player action map. Now let's test this. We can press our start button to pause, and now we can actually navigate through the menu, but our character is not turning around like he was before. And we can hit resume, and he doesn't jump either. Awesome. But there is a problem. With the menu open, now we can't use the menu open button anymore to actually close the menu. Now this actually makes sense because we literally just deactivated the player action map, so we can't use this. So in order to correct this, let's set up a menu close action in the UI action map. I'm just going to copy and rename the one from my player action map. Now we'll need to detect that button press, so let's go back into our input manager, and I'll set up a new bool for the UI menu close. I'll also set up a new input action for it, which we can still grab from the player input dot actions, making sure we get the spelling exactly the same from the action that we set up. And in update, we'll update our bool from that input action. Now finally, we just need to update our menu manager to account for this new input. So we'll get rid of this, and instead, we'll check if our UI menu close input was pressed. And if the game is paused, 
then we'll call the unpause function. And there you go, if we hit play, we can press the menu open to open the menu and the menu close to close the menu. If you enjoyed this, then please give it a like and subscribe if you want more game dev content. I release a new tutorial every Thursday. Plus I have game dev life talks every Monday where I just talk about everyday life as a game developer and some of the struggles and triumphs and all of that stuff. Throw any questions or suggestions that you might have down in the comments below. Bye. I wanna give a very special thank you to our Hall of Fame patrons, Jakob Yandok, Zandra Kessler, Darren Preen, Throbbing Wind, Fontaine Waite, and Couch, as well as our early access patrons, Zyoma, Ken Waite, and Mason Crow. If you choose to support us on Patreon, you can get early access to all our YouTube videos, monthly alpha builds, and more.